Together, they lost more than 200 pounds. And this Thanksgiving, one Central Florida couple says they are giving back in gratitude, donating a can of food for every pound they lost. News 6's Carolina Cardona shows us how their donation is inspiring others to get results. What we did is put a post out to see who was in need. It's this Facebook group post that Justin and Carrie Hine made as part of their weight loss journey, donating 216 cans of food to a local charity. It was really humbling, honestly, putting it out there and just seeing all of the places that were kind of raising their hand saying, we do need help. We do need support. We're actually full-time health coaches now, mm -hmm. and we decided that what we wanted to do is we wanted to pay that forward. And so um, in the spirit of giving, um, we actually did a gratitude give back challenge uh, with our clients. The Wintermere couple began their weight loss journey in 2019. Justin says he lost 120 pounds and carried 95 pounds, an achievement they say they wanted to share with others through their donation of healthy items like veggies and beans. This is tremendous and depending on the variety and what it is, this is going to go fill the pantries of multiple families in our community. A tremendous gesture of solidarity with less fortunate families, says Dan Samuels, director of philanthropy for Second Harvest Food Bank. The nonprofit, which serves seven central Florida counties, says a recent survey showed one in eight people go to bed hungry. Second Harvest Food Bank tells me around this time of the year, they usually see an uptick in the number of people searching for a food bank or a food pantry. But this year, they saw a 40 to 50 percent increase compared to last year. We never expected inflation and a couple of hurricanes to push us so far over that edge and push so many families to the point of needing help to put food on the table. The Hines say they'll continue doing their part to help with those statistics. We're actually thinking about going back out there and doing it again because there are so many places that are in need. In Orange County, Carolina Cardona, News 6.